I've also included for you some working memory activities that you can use just as games that you don't have to buy, you don't have to construct. I mean, any concentration task, good old fashioned old maid or just playing concentration with cards actually improves working memory. Keep in mind though that the key to building working memory skills is not to emphasize the outcome, but rather the process. So it is the exercising of working memory that builds our working memory capacity. It's using working memory that builds our capacity, not how we do on the test. That's what we really want to emphasize as therapists. We don't want to penalize students who struggle with working memory. We want to give them opportunities to practice working memory and to be successful, which means that we have to limit our working memory activities to their capacity. If I have one student who doesn't have a working memory beyond a minute or two of listening to a story, then what I'm going to do is just have very short segments of stories in the beginning and then gradually increase the complexity. If I have a child with a language problem, that's going to inhibit their working memory for listening to a story, just having to comprehend the grammar or comprehend the vocabulary. You've all had the experience of being in a course that's above you cognitively. I mean, I can remember taking a a astrophysics course by mistake. It was an astronomy course at Northwestern University. And I thought we were going to be learning some basic understanding of astronomy. I had no idea that it was astrophysics. We were going to be learning the spectrum of stars and we were going to be figuring out how we could tell if planets were moving toward us or away from us or stars were moving toward us or away from us through very complex physics formulas. And I would sit in that class and I couldn't even take notes because the content was going too quickly for what I could comprehend. Well, that's the way the world is for a child with a language problem. So if we want to build working memory, we've got to build it at the level they can handle it, obviously. Now, remember, verbal fluency is correlated with working memory. It's all the same executive function system. Bro it activates Broca's area in the frontal lobe. So... Just keep in mind that world recall activities are going to build these networks as well, this executive function, working memory, attention, cognitive control network, and build verbal fluency.